Hi everybody and welcome to another daily demo alley. You know the gist. I go to Steam, I check out which new demos came out and then I pick and choose which is, well, like this, the weirdest or the most interesting one to play. I'm Rogue Gamer, and then let's dive into All O Gloom. I guess it's that, it's pronounced like that. Master Volumes, clicking, do I need to? Oh, I need to click it. Let's get some of these down, some of these up. Object highlights, that is good. Speech scrolling, don't know about that. But simple options, not much. Name is a little bit cluttered. But she doesn't move, or the eyes don't move where my mouse is, so that's a minus. I'm joking. Usually, like some games have that when it's dealing with the menu. Anyways, join Nora in this mysterious and macabre point-and-click adventure game. Find and collect items to solve puzzles. Talk to peculiar people and monsters alike. Explore gruesome grove and beyond to uncover the forgotten truths and save the people of our town. This is pretty interesting sounding. Uh, the release date is coming soon. It is developed and pub published by Galactic Ghostly. A cute little intro uh, thing they had. Okay, let's see. This is all screaming Lovecraftian horror to me, which is quite fine. I like that. This figure. She stole it from me. I have no choice. Take them all. That works, I think. So you gotta have to suffer from me with me. Now it's getting a little bit louder. Oh, they're actually calling it a demo. It's not just like first chapter. So this might be actually different. Maybe it's like a prologue. It, I don't know, I'm on the fence on if a prologue in the form of demo is good compared to the full game. Do not enter, that awaits. Gruesome grow. Because some people don't play demos. Chapter 1, Blessed Facilities. Okay, we're getting the chapters. Because as I said, some people don't even know that like a prequel or like prologue in a demo exists, so they just you know play the game. So not Granny Dot. Oh, wait. Why is Granny Dot doing that meet here? Right now. Okay, maybe I need to turn off scrolling. Because I can't read as fast. Have you seen this person? Blasted Dot. Click to change. Ah, now it's click to change dialogue. Get your soul passage. Wreck inside. Um, what's Hopper done now, Granny? Oh, he stole the meat. Oh, the ceremony stool is never going to be finished in time. These are weird. Oh, don't worry, Bran. I'll sort it out. I left the instructions for the stool around here somewhere. Hmm, I'm going to have to be creative to figure this out. Yeah, we are going to be have to creative. Where's my mouse? Oh, no, there is. Click on This is good. How to play. Point play games for any, any new players. Uh, you can move around the environment by clicking on the ground. Combine. You can combine some items in your inventory by clicking and dropping uh, them into one another. Inventory. Items I uh, picked up will go into inventory. You can access your inventory on the bottom left of the screen by hovering your mouse. Good. You can use an item by grabbing it and clicking outside of the inventory to pop. Yep, that's nice. That's all cool here. Like, I understand all that, but you know, new players. That's good for them. Um. Immediately, like the style is pretty cool and weird. Gives me a little bit of that uh, Monty Python kind of um, design of characters. There are also a few other games similar uh, to this. Like it was, oh my god, I can't remember. It, it's late. I'm half asleep at this point. But uh, there were like a few of those point-and-click games that like uh, were. If you played through paintings, like um, romanticized, I think, uh, 1600s, 700s paintings, um, which pretty fucking great. Like, I forgot the name of the game, but it's amazing. Uh, this slightly reminds me of that. This is a little bit more brighter colors and a little bit of like a different style, but still slightly reminds me. Also, the, the idle animations and everything is kind of nice to have. Uh, the sound is pretty okay. Sticky sad. Dries as hard as nails. I'm glad I'm going in, into the old paint can instead of the ground. I had to negotiate for that. 
you're not supposed to interfere with the balance coming. I didn't stop it from dripping, Gran. I just uh, what it's dripping into. Hmm. Pretty weird the lines, let me see. Have you seen this person? Nora. Uh, if mom wasn't an outsider, more people would be helping me to look for her. You might have found me uh, by now. Oh wow. Okay, wait. Thinking, uh, I'm. Can you highlight objects? Or maybe it's, it automatically highlights when I. Let me see something. It's keep scrolling and object highlights. Ah, okay. So it's highlighting like what I can interact with. This is oh, actually nice to have. Golden leaf. Golden leaf paint shop has been in dad's family since. Goodness, must have been since he did lived here. Okay, and then what does Peep Scroll do? Is it like just... Oh yeah, just goes scrolling. Or speech, yes. My fingers have blisters after helping them make the reeds for the village. Oh, Grant, the blossom cake looks amazing. May I have a slice? Thank you, Nora. Not yet, dear. I'm saving it for after the ceremony. Oh, okay, Grant. Hopper already tried to get his sneaky peek on one of the walnuts on top. I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Okay, we got a plate. Duffy always get stuck in my teeth. Mm -hmm. Get that. Gruesome news. Did you do? Oh, I can interact with all of these. Jeez, I mean. Uh, Benny doesn't look too happy about his new job. I wonder which hand Benny will choose. I think it chose my left. No, right. Hmm, it's a really hard choice. We have no constant no contacts for what's happening. Looks like uh, Darling is having a bad time in Benny. I didn't like neither Alice. She used to chase me with the staff if she thought it'd be naughty. Introducing gruesome grows, new moth minded. Benjamin, our, uh, our youngest minded to date, began initiating moonrise last night after performing the soul feast of our recently deceased minded Alice. We eagerly await his choice for the sacrificial hand tree. Uh, I just can't decide. We're trying to use more, he said. Wait, does he need to sacrifice a hand? Damn, a lot of this is so weird. Except the bush is almost dry. Let's see. Ah, ha! The cinnamon store instructions. Uh, should be simple enough to put together. Okay, so how do I put the cinnamon store together? You need the store, a plate, and the meat. And the place in front of the door. Now to figure out what Hopper has done with the meat. I don't think the moths like our offers very much. Storekeepers of Gruesome Girl provide uh, and you shall receive meat, decorative plate, ceremony stool. I got the plate. Uh, on the night to the soul passage, uh, give your finest offering of meat so your fi uh, finances may ever flourish with the month's blessed favor. Now it's one of these. Okay, it's one of the simpler ones, not the nightmarish ones. Thank you for not doing that thing at the beginning of the year. This is missing. Oh my god, it is. Let me discover where it is. Can I move in any other way? Can I buzz that? No, I cannot buzz. Okay, where is Hopper? Oh, there's the store. Gotta get that. Can I just combine these two right now? Maybe not that one. We could do thing with legs falling off. Oh. Hi, Tommy. Hey. Uh, did you see what happened with Hopper? Did you see what happened with Hopper and Granny? Yeah, Hopper was pestering Gran for a walnut. She wouldn't give him one, so he stole the meat instead. Huh, Hopper. Any progress with the lights? Uh, how much luck with the tangles? Oh, no, not really. I can get, uh, I can go and get Grant help. Hey Grant, Tommy need... No, shh, no, shh. It's on purpose. I'm just not feeling that festive today. Oh, I'll leave you to it then. Thanks, Nora, I appreciate it. 
We need to join celebration of uh, Fatima Moth later. Do you want to go and join the celebration of the Fatima Moth after we finish the ceremony? If you really want to go, I'll go with you. Huh? Tell me, I know that means you don't want to go. What? No, I, I mean yes. I just really like to go home, eat some cake and read my book before we go to Bone Forest later. And I like the sound of that too. I don't know if they are like brothers, brother sister, uh, but it's weird what they have in the hair. Everything here is weird and I have no context. And I have no idea what to do. Well, maybe I actually need to go into the house for, for that place. I would like to build like a wall mat. Maybe I can get like uh, one inside. I'm gonna need a leg for the chair and something to scribble it on. It's gonna be a leg, probably. Seeds. It smells too meaty to be sap drips. Hopper? Hopper, did you hide the meat up here? Suspicious. I don't want to say you went back to your city. I know you'd never leave us like that. Mm, maybe. This is weird ass fucking place. He, he also has the uh, things. I don't know how to say it in English, but you know that. Um, it's like a thing that even like, Roman emperors wore. Uh, they had uh, flower, not flower, but you know, wine, you know, whatever. Man. It looks like everyone has collected their leaves. Hmm. Hey, Dad. And has anyone ever seen the tree the golden leaves come from? Oh yeah, golden golden leaves. Maybe like a leaf? Maybe it's that? I don't know. No, no, no. It's behind the bone arch. Only the moth binder came from behind there. You know that. I'd love to see it. I mean, it's, that was allowed just once. Sound just like your mom, no? Hmm. Time to get copyright claim for this uh, tiny music. Oh, I found the part. To do. And uh, give out soul passage leads. Finish uh, going over shopping in Delhi. Find out where this little goes. Eat lots of cake. Yeah, that's a good to list. See, Dad's really looking forward to some cake. Maybe find out where this goes. We already know where that goes. Listen to the music, it's pretty nice, it's pretty chill. It's very atmospheric for this place, very, very, very nice. Why do we need this? Alright. I sneaked out into the forest, the bones of the shame uh, again last night. Lily's bones were not there. There is still no sign of her anywhere. It's like she just vanished into thin air. I would have liked to have looked more, but could feel the moths hung the trees on me. I don't plan on leaving my children and my father as well. Please be careful, Dad. The moths will eat you, but they won't carry your soul to the afterlife. Like... It's like I'm stepping into somebody's weird-ass mind, or like a weird-ass... Goddamn, like, story. We have no context. Like, she has some context, but like... We have no context of any of this, like, it's probably gonna get explained at some point or other, or along the way, but it's like, it's so weird, it, it compels me, it compels me to figure out more, to f see what this whole shit is. Hello there, uh, what are you reading? You want something interesting? Hmm, no, just going over to the shop inventory. Must be unbelievably, uh, unbelievably exciting. Jesus, boo! You never miss a beat, uh, do you, Nora? Ah, just having a little fun, Dad. <laughs> fucking ah, fucking puns! Ah, no! Why puns? No! Please stop! Stop messing around. Did you see Hopper with the meat? Dad, Hopper stole the ceremony meat from Granny. <laughs> that cheeky bird. I haven't seen him around here though. He's right next to that. Oh, so he is. Hopper, you ever been getting up to mischief? I assume you haven't seen it then. Excuse me, is there something wrong with his feathers? What? Hmm. 
Have you heard anything about mom? Hmm, heard anything about mom today? Not today. I just thought maybe. Because this is the day she went missing. There might be something. Maybe tomorrow, Nora. Maybe tomorrow. Seeing Granny's blessing. Dad? Yes? Did you see Gran's blessing cake this year? Is it the beer or the walnut recipe? Ginger cream cheese frosting too. Hopper. Walnut! Don't worry, Hopper. I give you my walnut. I always do. You like that very much. Mm, hope you buy any time. Oh my god. Uh, I'm in pain. I'm in so much pain. Where do you put the meat, mister? Pasta. I think it's up there. I think I know what I want to do. Looks like a claw. No? Maybe if I poke. Alright. No poking. Definitely up there, but I don't I don't interact with anything else. This is just good uh, music and that's it. Hmm. Okay, let's get up and see what we can do outside. I mean I can start plumping, but I don't think it's gonna plump because let's let's see what we can get out of the puzzle box. That might be a step we need. Alright, Soul Passage. On the night of the Soul Passage, the Golden Moths carry the souls of the dead in their bellies across the threshold of the world. On the next full cycle of the moon, it is said they return as new moths to gruesome grow. They now watch us over and keep the balance of life and death of the grove in order. This is why we must not interfere with moths, so it is not interrupt the duty of the growth's balance. Don't do anything naughty, and we are always watching. Alright, that is a weird thing. What the fuck did we collect? It's strong and stretchy. Alright. Alright, then that's what we needed to combine. And sometimes it's like when I don't know what to do, I just combine everything with everything. Dad likes to keep spiders around. He says to keep away natural critters from eating the plants. I do that same. I literally have spiders all over the house. Like spider lands and everything. Not because I don't want to dust them or anything, it's because they, they eat all the fucking mosquitoes. Not be able to stab. No, I don't stab my plant. Okay, why do I have to this I don't want to stab it, I just want to grab something. Also, don't just remove the item from the inventory. Just... Oh, being hurt. Oh, so we just need to poke it multiple times. Did we just kill ourselves? We found the meat, but we're dead. Maybe dad was right. Let's forget we did that. Oh! So we did kill ourselves! Well, okay, let me say, because there is failure state. Okay, then what did we do? I mean, this is my... I think I shouldn't poke it too much. I mean, this is my my adventure game brain. What what else would I do? I did everything I needed to. I mean, everything was like, yeah, my brain said that that's that. That's it. How do how do you hide me up here? Stumped. 
it. It's also cool. Like you have like a failure state, basically. What's the demon, Granny? Uh, why did Hopper steal the meat? Oh, I didn't talk to her. Granny, why did Hopper pinch the meat? Oh, well, he's such a misbehaved bird. I kept shooing it away from the blessing cake. He does love walnuts. Well, he can't have any. I turned around for one moment and he grabbed the meat right off the plate. He's just acting up because mom is still missing. Huh? Well, this is still no excuse for real behavior. I look forward to the soul passage, you know? Granny, are you looking forward to the soul passage this year? Uh, yes, of course, dear. I remember the first soul passage after your grandpa well, died, like it was yesterday. Oh, what a beautiful sight to see the moths carry his flesh from this world! Uh, do you think uh, that maybe mom has crossed over too and we just haven't found her bones yet? Or maybe the moths ate her bones too? Don't be silly, dear. Moths don't eat bones. Now, how about you stop fussing and get on to sorting out the uh, ceremony stool? Okay, man. You don't want to make the new moth minder think uh, the frown on your face is because of him, do you? No, Gran. Did they, um, Gran, could you take Dad a slice of cake early? No, he can't wait like everybody else. But Gran, it's just he's feeling sad and he's working really hard. Well, I suppose you could make an exception for your father, but only for him. Here's a nice big slice. Of course you go. Uh, she's probably... Granny's probably like his grandmother. Or oh, her mo his mother, actually. Okay, let's see. Mm, would you look at that? Cake. Grand cut a nice big slice for you. Well, that Please. All yours, buddy. Is he... Oh, he doesn't have a wing. He's gonna drop me that, not in my head. He's gonna give me the, the meat. Yeah, he looks like he doesn't have wing or wings. Is that why he's called Hopper? Anyway, thanks. Thanks, buddy. But I cannot combine these two. Oh, wait, I need to do this, I need to do this. I'm still missing a leg. <sighs> okay, what can I do to... Interesting, like, I'm very intrigued by like the failure states and like back to the only giant... Can I put her nose with this? Yeah, just... Colony... I don't think... I can long pot. Hmm. Let's see. My adventure brain is tickling. I really don't like the brain you like. Uh, can't. Wait, what's this? Oh, for my sakes. Language, Nora. My new words. Sorry, Gran. I just noticed the tree was leaking sap next to the door. Just so sticky and dry so fast. I don't know what to do to get glued shut. It's a blessing to have sap fall upon your dad's shop. I forgot you said it was a curse last time it happened. I would never say such a thing, Nora. You did. Yeah, some stuff is like... I, I, there is no like a button to show all the interactables. Which is, again, something I want in point of game, so we don't go pixel hunting. Uh, a lot of uh, political games suffer from that and kind of get, uh, you know, you kind of get annoyed by that and you don't want the players to be annoyed. So, highlighting object is cool, but I want, you know, the option to uh, highlight or everything that is highlightable here. Uh, also, I think, uh, is like if I click and it's not the place you need to, you know, do it with, um, I want, like, the game to still keep my goddamn, you know, thing that I was clicking with, so I can click on other things. Maybe I don't need to click on that, and I need to click on this, or no, maybe I like, need to click on this, so... Well, that's... Give, give me an option, give me an option. Now look at the thing with its leg falling off, but where is the goddamn leg? Yeah, I get it, this is 
pretty fucking simple. I just need the light. Uh, none of these guys are giving me any extra info. I cannot go anywhere. There is the saps, there is this. I cannot interact with anything here, like the crab shit. I don't think Granny has any more solutions for us. Alright, anything else? Oh, there's the light. God damn it! How did this tool let get up there? Do you really need that? Hopper. Oh, now I know when it. <sighs> yes, give me an option to interact with everything on the goddamn screen to show me. What is it? I barely saw it. Should we check? The only reason I noticed it kind of is because it's different color all the Ah, oh, goddamn. Okay, let me get the sap. The sap is very sticky. And we were right about the sap being a blessing. I can glue the stool right back to him now. Okay, grab that. Combine this, combine this, with this here. Oh, shh, shh. Nora, dummy, the miner is coming. Should we get that? No, 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 they're almost here. You better say some smiles on those faces before he arrives. Blessed evening, everyone. Hello, Benny. Hi, darling. Nora, manners. Oh, sorry. A blessed evening, moth minded. Wait, where is the shepherd's moth? The shepherd moth. Oh, yes. It's flying around the, 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 the forest. I haven't seen it yet, Benny. We're just in the forest with you. Shh, darling. Let's continue. Uh, I grant... No, uh, I give you... No, that's not it. Nora, I grant you permission to pick up the... I lost his voice halfway there, I don't care. Damn! That was fast. Blessings of the moths upon you. May your finances be fruitful. Thank you, moth minded dear. What's that about her head? Finally, you know what it's sad. Uh, uh, yeah, also, don't do this. Like, let me click through uh, conversations, even like in cinematics like that, because I really did not fucking see what they said. Uh, bye, Benny. That was odd. Why does it shepherd more with Benny? So always with the mind that the night and soul passenger. Hush, you two. It's Benny's first time doing the blessing ceremonies. And I don't know why there's like a, a you know, uh, leaf thing above their head to do what who is talking. Can we have some cake now, Granny? Uh, I'd like to go home and read my book. Cake in the book it is. We'll meet you at the bone forest later, Granny. Let me just get some cake for you. Don't be late to, to Soul Passage. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the end of the demo. Oh, chapter 2. Moth Mayo. Is that something stuck in the tree? Dead? Something like that. Okay, uh, Tommy, uh, are you going to finish your slice of cake? Uh, yes, yeah, you'll later. Uh, well, I'm happy to help you finish it off. You know, if you decide you don't want it later. I would also like to eat more cake and all that. What was that? Uh, oh, check it out. Is she gonna find the moth thing? Oh, what the fuck? Sorry, little squirrel is scared. What the fuck is this? Package delivered by moth. Never knows uh, of such a thing. Must have really appreciated Grant's me talking this year. It's really stuck in there though. I have to find a way to get it out of without destroying Dad's plans. Also, this is again the music is really swell. I can see why I wasn't allowed to climb trees when I was little. I would have ended up just like that scroll down there. The scroll goddamn dead. I can see Granny's house from here. 
I can see my house from here. Okay, let's see what we can scavenge inside of here. There's a lot of scavengeables. Mm, that's not a tape. Hmm, I wanna put this here. No, I would never accuse you of such thing, Hopper. It definitely him, it's these traps. I wonder how these got here, Hopper. Let's see. Let's see. Residents of family, residents and family continue their search today for Lily, who has been missing since last Friday night. Lily was last seen leaving the Song Passage festivities at the Forty Moth Tavern around 8:20 p.m. Residents are asked to look out for any new skeletal remains in the forest and trees around the village that are known to drop large amounts of sap. So far, no leads have been found. Her disappearance, for now, remains mystery. Mom, I wouldn't be so careless. She always carried uh, her sappies over when she went out to the water, even though she was banned from making it. Mm. Getting very barely interesting. Who can't believe that the moths from Mom's city eat clothing instead of meat? Ah, these are special moths. Terrifying special moths, they eat meat. God damn. What's with the TV? Is that Granny? Hey, look, Tommy, it's Granny, she's on the TV. Wait, she's at the Frothy Mall? I thought she hated that place. Ah, <sighs> oh my god. Hmm. Oh yeah, she goes there nearly every night. Well, since Grandpa died. She does? Mm-hmm. Wait, Tommy, how do you know she does? I, uh, uh, just visiting a friend after work. Okay, well, you keep your secrets, big brother. I will, thank you. Okay, so that's his big brother. Uh, that, uh, well. It's her big brother, which is fine, okay. What are you holding? Hopper, don't eat that. My. No, damn it. For now. Can I, like. What is. It's strange. Can you give him this? No. I sure. You sure can help you eat that, Tommy? I'm not even going to answer that question, huh? Now I can take paper. I can dance with Hopper sometimes. He loves it. So can I grab a tape? I don't think any of these are interactable, so I need to find it somewhere else. The moon is almost full. Oh, there's more things to do. Here. Some sap nearly fell on all of us after this photo was taken. The moths would have had a great feast. Oh, the moths actually eat the sap, and maybe that's, you know, the people who get covered in it and get eaten or something. It's so weird, it's compelling me. Okay, what is here then? Mom's office. Tom and I are not allowed in there. But why? But why? But why? Also, when I double click. You know, either teleport me or like, yeah, just especially when I'm clicking on the this area uh, later. Hey Nora, that you there? Hi darling. Have you, uh, ah, you have a sap situation going on that door here and a very dead scroll. I'm surprised the moths haven't eaten it yet. Must be hungry. Mustn't be hungry after all the offerings tonight. Poor scroll. Darling, did you bring my letter? No, 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 no. Okay, you didn't follow any sap. Nora, I don't understand what they mean in the moment, so just don't be too sad if it doesn't answer your questions, okay? Okay. I have to get back to Benny now. See you in the bone forest later for the passage. Okay, very stupid. The bone. What's this? Dad's itchy scar. Mm, fun. To Nora, thank you for sending. Uh, through your question. I asked the moths and this was what they said. We showed her home. Now she is alone. Thank you for using my service. Home? Did she go back to the city? No, she wouldn't. She wouldn't just leave. We showed her home now she is alone. Edith, the mother of moths. Oh, she doesn't look pleased. She is missing her home. I don't think anybody would. I wonder how many teeth the moths have. Also, what does it feel like to have your home even off by a little moth? Terrifying, what the fuck are they talking? This is so weird. 
person staff what did she even use it for? Thank you for by the appearances of images of this like game's promotional it's we're gonna get them all at the end of the staff. I was trying to hold in a sneeze so badly. Weird. Hopper uh, still hasn't stopped asking my mummies. Oh, Why is it flickering? We should change the light bulb last week. Maybe we should just break it. Why doesn't she take the light and just leaves it in the ground there? Jesus. Let's see what we find here. A key. And no one answered the flyer. Okay, what else can we find? I uh, want to know what the moths think about you. Send me your question and I'll ask them for the low price of one chocolate bar per person. The price. Drop them off uh, at the treehouse with your payment. I'll write back to you as soon as they answer and drop off the questions days ago. Yes, biscuits and fruit salad are also accepted. Oh, okay, fruit salad is nice. Well, whose backpack is this? Vision. Glamour in the big city. Oh, oh no. Magazines made outside the Bruce and Grover band. She... She's very beautiful though. Tommy, we could live... Tommy, we could live here. Tommy? Um, who do you want to leave Bruce and Grove with? No, no one leaves Bruce and Grove. The moths will eat you before we can leave the forest. Does he have a death wish? Hold on. Kisses. You. That's it, that's it. Wow, this building is taller than the trees. This is very weird. Okay, Tommy wants to escape, I guess. Understandable. Don't budge. Yeah, we're kinda stuck. Maybe we're just locked in. Let me check the key. See, mom's office key going in just this one's gonna hurt. Makes me neck the bullets in shape. Okay, I'm guessing all the stuff we need is there and maybe ask Tommy about why he wants to leave. What are you reading? What poem are you reading? Oh wow, we get to actually read. The girl with the golden bow. A girl alone walks through the forest of bones, towards the arch, towards the glow. The girl who crossed on her own two feet, whatever lost a moth's valley she will never meet. A girl with a bowl as golden as the light it surrounds. Across the threshold, where no soul with flesh attached to bone may be found. Tell me, do you think this is what happened to moth? I, I hope not. This apparently happened over 40, 70 years ago on the soul passage. I don't know if it's even true. I hope not, too. Her soul would be lost forever. Maybe her mom was actually the one who left. And then came back and like, look at all the sap and bones and the sap and all of that. Jesus, it's so macabre. What do you think is behind the bone arch? I don't know. More moths? Maybe we have to ask moth minder. But there's sworn to secrecy. Maybe you could become the moth minder then, Nora. But Benny would have to die for someone to take his place. It's not uncommon in Bruce and Grove for someone to die in an untimely death. True. There's the bone arch. They're gonna kill the kid. Do you think Blessing Ceremony was just in his vehicle? It was strange that the Shepherd Moth wasn't at the ceremony tonight. The Shepherd Moth is always at the Blessing Ceremonies. I, it was odd. It's always there. Benny told me he was nervous about doing the ceremonies, but you were right, it seemed to be more than nervous going on. Something was off, and he told you, huh, you're getting cozy with the moth line then, are we now, Tommy? He's, Nora, we were friends back in school, we still catch up sometimes. I know, Tommy, I'm just teasing now that he is the esteemed moth finder after all. Why do you want to leave? Why do you want to leave? What? I found a note in the backpack downstairs. With kisses too. Oh, Nora, you weren't meant to see that. Well, I did. Tommy? Why do you want to get yourself killed? You know we can't leave the grove. I... I don't wish to die. I just want something more. Please, don't leave, Tommy. Not like Mom. I promise I won't leave you, Nora. Mm, nice. 
good uh, brother of luck. Okay, let's get in there. Get into the locked away secret thing that we shouldn't do. Come on, don't look, I'm being naughty. Well then. I've never seen a tree with white bark and fungi in like that before. It's so pretty. Oh. Oh. That's how Hopper got his name. I can't see this photo of Mommy Hopper. This must be after the automobile accident again. We don't have automobiles in Bruising Road. We have to walk. Freely mm. through the trees. They both almost died. Mom didn't tell me that. How do you know that thing? Just that, Jesus. Let's open this up. Okay, this is... This little book looks really old. I think it's Mom's diary from when she first arrived in Bruising Road. Oh, there's a lot of to read. Jesus Christ. Let me uh, loop up first. I thought this was gonna be a short demo, but I apparently need to read a lot. Day one. I made I made it in. What a strange forest. So many bones stuck in the clumps of tree sap. Why do trees have so much sap? The townsfolk are afraid of me. I don't think anyone has ever visited from outside the grove. The florist, Arthur, seems to have taken pity on me and offered up a spare room in his home. They have no accommodation here. I hope Hopper doesn't get up to much mischief. No matter, I have to find out what happened to her. To her? Also, like, this gives, this gives me an impression... Is this right after the accident? Who were you looking for? The Golden Moths eat people. I still don't understand why this is so weird for mom. Because they usually don't eat people, normal people? For mom, they don't eat I think I'm trapped here. As I approached the edge of the forest, a Golden Moth bit me. Then another. Suddenly a whole swarm appeared around me, biting. They were going to eat me alive. Human bones were scattered all over the edge of the forest like a ring. Arthur told me no one leaves Crusoe Grove. They told me not to come here. Maybe I should have listened. I told you not to come here. Day four. Jesus, this has been just four days. I will find a way to leave. One day. They do get supplies dropped off to the grove somehow. I'll start my search there. Maybe I can get a message from the university. If I can't leave, I will at least need some things to help my search. A computer and some chocolate. They don't have any chocolate here. Arthur has been curious about life outside the grove. Much to his mother's displeasure, he is very sweet. Maybe life won't be so bad here. I'll find out what happened to you so long ago. The moth finders uh, organize all the deliveries from outside. They come on a truck that can pass through the bones of the machine. Someone tried to sneak through in a crate once. The moth still got them. Interesting. What's strange about the meat eating moths? Mysterious places around the world from e meat eating moths, metal machines in the sky. Lost civilizations and much more. Electricity? Oh, moth magic. No, electricity. Hmm. I had no idea mom had a middle name. Really, Eloise Bell, Bachelor of Science. Hey, I'm a Masters of Engineering now. Just did that like a few days ago. Uh, well, electrical engineering and computer sciences, and I'm a practical master and all that. Darling would uh, love this book. She loves creepy crawlies, insects, pencil, keys, pencil. I don't think I need to erase anything. Well, maybe not. All right, let's see what it is. Whatever comes out of Edith's severed arm. No water. Jeez, water even comes out of Edith's severed arm. Grandpa used a pinch of sap with his mischievous mustache wax. He said the hold was superb. You see? Grandpa's lucky hammer. He said it had been kissed by the moths themselves. I don't think moths have lips though. Well, they still have teeth apparently. They need people. 
is over here. And it looks like something was pinned above the nose. What is that? Something is pinned over here, did I? Let's see if we can click on anything there. Could be no. It looks like the shepherd moth's wings. I didn't want to get close enough to draw a sketch. Wait, what the fuck? Why is she like... Whoa, mom, what did you do? Well, yeah, first, why does she look like that? Oh, that's a scar. Ah. Like, it was very weird when I saw it on the photos. I thought it was like... Why does it like... It's like a broken photo, but no, she has like a scar, like a broken doll. Jesus, that's so weird. Did you break into the Minder's temple? I'm surprised they didn't send you to join the bones in the Shadow Kishin. Scrolls, plans, and mom's research room. The journal has been missing since her disappearance, too. Yeah, somebody took it. So let's grab the shears. Nice and sharp. Okay, now so let's put in a get the flower. There's gold in and the moths. Can I get it? Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Dad told me the moon is made of cheese. I don't know if I believe him. Oh, you should probably, probably should. Ooh, interesting. That's not a plant. That's a tree. Flowers that look like little bells. They smell lovely. Let's play this. But I'll show you kids a very strange magic. How to fix the uh, tape, a little uh, tape that's been, you know, um, you know, sticking out of a cassette like this. Actually, how to fit the, fix the cassette. You take this pencil and then you wind it back up. That's it. It's magic. It's ancient magic. I will only plug in objects that are meant to be plugged in there. And that works. Crispy Nora. Spot. Alright, we can interact with just this in the computer. Let's see what we find here. It's forbidden to keep a sacred fruit. Mom, why do you have this? Wow, computer. Must be only three in the whole uh, Bruce and Grove. What can we interact with? That's a lot of moss in Mom's hand. They don't really touch us unless it's to eat us. The same moon symbol the moths have on their wings? It can't be. Did mom go to the secret fruit tree? I yeah, can't really see anything else. Uh, it's very here. Very here. So she stayed here at least to have long enough to have two kids, basically. So, did probably learn a lot. Maybe anything with this. Bye, little mom. Oh, that's mom's research journal. It's locked. Hmm. It's run of charge. Why did mom open it again? I've been fully blessed by the moths tonight. Okay, let me listen to the tape. I won't be surprised if it's something very important. Mom's journal can't open it without being charged. Okay. Huh. Music that they love or this hot loves. Yep. He at least dropped the cable. So we can continue with it. No 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 not there. Uh yeah actually there. We need to know where to move. Okay, so we plug in the charger. The cables are pasty. Yep, I'll drag this thing. Plug in the pin. So plugging her uh, iPad. Hmm, what you be on the screen? Ah, okay, I get it. I can't really see. Wait, wait, wait. Is this cool over here? Kind of. Uh, okay, so it's. This is full moon. 
so right from right to left and to left. Okay. So we can try and smear that out. So this. Okay. That should be it. Right? Or it's the other way around. Somewhere else. Yeah, that's the charging. There's a journal. Wait, is it actually a charging dash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a charge. I don't know what we need to do with this. I don't think there's anything here to do. There's some other place that has something like this. No, nothing here. Nothing here. Okay, I get that. Just figure this out. There's too many combinations. And I'm not getting any hints. Like, I'm getting hints with this, but okay, that's only one. Maybe. I have a button to press to like open it. Like this is basically simple moon phases. I guessing it's like this, but it's even like this is the same. Maybe it's... No, it doesn't go black form, it just goes this way. I don't see any other hints, like I don't see any other moths or... Wait... Do I... Um... That's the password. Okay. So, fuck me. I need to take a photo because it will. I don't have my notebook. Open up. So we have to do it like this. Will it show me? Anyway, so four and one are supposed to be like this. Five is all the way, and 
three is three is four and who is to the left? All right, solved. That did it. How? Good electric again. Did this break power? Huh, Tommy will be mad about reading in the dark. You must go to the temple now. Get the crescent staff, listen to the moth, and find the door and hear it. That's our street. The village center. The entrance to the bone forest. The moth minders temple. It's forbidden to go there. The bone lodge. Is there anything else you can do? What? I can't. I can't do that. It's forbidden. But if mom is in trouble, I would do anything to get her back. I have to show this to Tommy. Something crazy is happening. Somebody is back and banging the door. There's Sa. What the fuck is taking Tommy? This is happening. Uh, you should scream, maybe. Mom is missing. Now Tommy has been taken by a. I don't know what that was. Something very strange is going on in Rose Grove. Maybe the name. And I'm going to find out what it is. Oh, we're still playing. This would have been an uh, awesome moment to stop the, the demo. Jesus, this is, is that blood? Or fucking bones and sap and blood? What's going on? Can we grab it? You find you, you, you see this creature that that's Lovecraftian nightmare bullshit. Why would they get him? The cake. Oh, he takes the cake. No, not the fucking cake. Tommy's blanket. Okay, I might need to give it to a dog to search. What in the actual fuck? Is there someone inside that? Thing? Yeah, like, what the actual fuck? Another path, this is the tapes. Hopper? You alright, buddy? Tommy! Come on! Come here, Hopper. Oh, I'm going to get Tommy back. Stay in your hiding place. I'm coming back, I promise. Well, she's probably not coming back. What the fuck? Jesus, what the fuck happened? Mm -hmm. It's very silent, very quiet, and everything. It still won't open. We have to find another way to get out. Okay, I think I know how to get out. The old fashioned way. Blanket on the edge of this. Yep, make a rope. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, the place looks nice and all that, but Jesus, this is terrifying. Even Hopper is like, what the fuck are you doing here? And that's the end of the demo. Hello, thank you so much for playing my demo. I hope you had fun with this little bite-sized uh, piece of Allo Blue. If you enjoyed your time, you can visit the game here. It helps a lot. Galactic Ghost. I must... I'm compelled. I'm compelled to figuring out what the fuck is going on. Because it's so weird, but it's kind of gloomily whimsical. And weird. And... Damn. I can't believe I find these little gems of awesomeness like this. Uh, okay. Let's roll back a little bit. Uh, gameplay, pretty solid. Point to click bullshit, combining, uh, using, and all that. Even has like kind of a, a failure death state, but it returns you instantly back, which is I like. That's cool. 
I hope uh, a lot of uh, other states are like that. But it's like you kind of poke around, you get yourself killed, but you know, come back instantly. That's that's something I uh, enjoy, and I don't want to like. Oh, I didn't save in the last five seconds, so I need to redo uh, a lot of conversations and all that. Um, again, I'm a big uh, promoter of AI. No, the, the AI. What, what the fuck am I saying? I was gonna say AI voice acting. Jesus, no, fuck no. I'm a big promoter of voice acting and having these kinds of games have voice acted lines uh, because there is a lot of reading otherwise, for once, and uh, you would have like actually emotion, an emotional connection to um, some of the characters. Like, reading is also bringing out emotion. If you watched my Citizen Sleepers uh, series, you would see I actually cry there almost, but you know, that's kind of a, another thing. Um, so, but again, this is an indie game, this is still coming out soon, who knows when it's actually gonna come out, so I'm kind of fine with just having, you know, this without voice acting. The visuals are beautiful, I must say. Like, this is actually beautiful, like, the style is pretty nice. It, you know, kind of reminds me of a few other styles and a few other, like, either games or so shows and stuff like that, but it's... This is such an, a un nice style, you can even make it into a cartoon, but you know, th this is fine as well. Um, the plot, the setting is the most intriguing, like I kind of figured it out, it's more more like, like uh, what was that, the village movie, I think it was that. Uh, where you know, they live in a village, there's like monsters on the edge of the village, they kind of kill you if, they, if you leave and stuff like that. Uh, but there's actually, you know, a, Spoiler, but that movie is so goddamn old, uh, and it's been you know um, even parodied so many times. Uh, there's like a actual you know living city, living people, modern world outside the village, even though they are talking in the village like they they are the only things that exist and stuff like that. So the technology even here is kind of weird, but it's fine. Like I don't, I'm not gonna complain about you know some weird tech. It's still uh, pretty recognizable, just kind of went in a little bit of a different way. And it's all that's all nice. Like, it's very stylistic, it's very interesting to be there. Um, so, like, I, I guess that's the plot, but like, what the moths do and all the sap thing, and now this monster, it's so intriguing. Like, I want to play more just to figure out what the crap is going on and I do hope uh, if this is like a single dev uh, game or like a small team uh, game whoever is writing this story I hope there is a really good payoff because it's a little bit predictable from what I uh, saw here like the missing mother she's actually been you know investigating this she's from the outside blah 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 it's kind of like predictable but I still want to figure out uh, you know it still compels me because of how weird this is and what's going on and how these people are acting and the moths and, and everything so like that that part is pretty you know interesting and I played weird you know uh, point of games and this is Lovecraftian so it's right up my alley and all that shit uh, and who knows what kind of like weird and creepy things are. The music is also absolutely beautiful. Like whoever composed this, this is amazing. Like perfect for the game. I, I like it. So anyway, like the base gameplay loop is fine. It's abs you know, your basic point of click games. Like there is not even like anything special, at least not in the demo. I don't know if there's going to be anything in the game, but like there is no special thing about uh, this point in click. There's no like special meters, there's no like special skills, it's not like you scan stuff and you know, or go deeper into it or feeling the you know, objects, senses or whatever. So it's kind of pretty based uh, into the point, uh, point and click game, point and click adventure game, which is absolutely fine. I, I don't mind that. Uh, the only thing I would kind of um, like the option of scrolling text is fine. Just don't uh, let it progress uh, in the kind of like cinematic parts until I click, or at least make it slow. So, slower, uh, so I can actually read it, because at the beginning I kind of missed a few things. Uh, secondly, I know that the option is like to highlight objects, which are, like, having... 
for the love of God. That being as an option is fine, but having it turned off, it's absolutely a nightmare to play that. Like, I wouldn't know what I can click or not. So having highlighted on continuously is great, but please also either add it as an option or like a control option or something. Please add an option for if I hold a button or click space or whatever to highlight, like to brighten all of the uh, interactables on the screen. Because I don't want to miss, like even if it's not important and uh, it's not an item that I need to collect, I don't want to miss some of the story beats or, so, or some of the story writing or anything commenting about a random item in, in the screen. I, I like actually to click on everything. And uh, I almost missed the leg. Like almost completely missed the leg. If I didn't like start scanning every corner of the screen, which I don't want to do. I don't want to go pixel hunting in adventure games. I've done that in Runaway and that's pretty much, uh, you know, that that kind of top because there, there I actually had to fucking hunt for two pixels for a very important item. So don't do that. Don't let people uh, pixel hunt because that's going to be uh, an annoying time. If you're not going to have a hint system, like an actual hint system that tells you what to do or suggests you what to do next or where to go next, give players an option to highlight every interactable on the screen. It will absolutely help them enjoy the game more. It's not gonna help them solve stuff, but it's gonna help them enjoy the game more so they can, you know, get through it without a, you know, walkthrough which is gonna just tell them, hey, you seen that little uh, nail in the corner? Go click on that. that. That's actually a clickable thing. You just need to scroll the mouse there. You didn't scroll the mouse there. So that, that's kind of an issue I have about point click games and I'm always going to have an issue about point click games that don't allow you to highlight every object in the screen. It won't help anybody save, you know, uh, it won't uh, help anybody uh, solve the puzzle but it will help them figure out maybe what they can interact and you know combine things with. Uh, like it's not going to solve a puzzle, it might help solve a puzzle like you know finding the leg in the tree, you know. Anyway, uh, this was all gloom and I'm blown away by how cool this looks. I am honestly am. This is so freaky, so weird. Uh, it's kind of like a horror, but you know, not whimsical, but like, you know, gloomy, uh, atmospheric and really pretty horror, which is kind of weird. Even like the monster at the end was kind of like, yeah, it's, it's fine, it's not terrifying but it's not terrible but it's not you know you know anything just lump of flesh stuff that's why I like think voice acting would do wonders here uh, because you know you could hear Tommy scream and then be a little bit terrified and all that but it's like I, I kind of seen worse I played that pace if anything so this cartoony kind of color colorful story is just like you know fine I also played Sally face which is creepy in its own ways in any case, thank you guys for watching, thank you for sticking around, do the like, subscribe, comment, dance, there is Patreon for support, you can check out this madness live on Twitch daily at my pen and paper, well, I mean slash my pen, pen and paper, or you can check out this live, uh, or not live, or you can check out uh, Demo Alley and First Hour episodes on YouTube at my pen and paper. Till next time, as always, this, uh, you know, uh, it's the story that we play. See ya.